November 28th, 2023, Minecraft Education and Hispanic Heritage Foundation's Latin Explorers at the White House. What? Reminder that there was a content poll for some game event that was extremely rigged and the general fan response to it was Hey, why can't you just add all three items into the game? And it was a meme on TikTok for like three months. Note, I said items. That's really weird. Uh, that's a good question. Why couldn't they just add them? Spider God, thank you for the seven dollar doodles. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Latinx in space, dude. <laughs> The blog was guest written by Minecraft Education Program Manager and Executive Producer Layla Bowman. I recently had the privilege of representing Minecraft Education at the White House for the Latinos in Space event. <laughs> I can't, I can't take that seriously. I read Latinos in Space and I think of immediately gay word I'm not allowed to say on Twitch in outer space. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a joke. This remarkable day was not only a personal milestone, but also a testament to the growing impact of educational technologies in shaping the future of STEM fields. The White House event, aligning with Hispanic Heritage Month, was a dynamic gathering of Latino STEM students and leaders. In celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month, the White House Office of Public Engagement and the National Space Council convened over a hundred Latino science, technology, engineering, and mathematics students and leaders from the space sector to discuss the Biden-Harris administration's ongoing efforts to inspire, prepare, and employ the current and future space workforce while ensuring opportunities reach the Latino community. I see, like, why do they have to talk specifically about ensuring opportunities to the Latino community? Couldn't they just ensure space opportunities to, like, anyone? Like, I just... I don't know. I don't, I don't understand here, really. The people in this article are huffing their own farts so hard. Yeah, what is... The, but what does this have to do with Minecraft? I spoke about the unlimited potential STEM learning holds for our youth, highlighting our collaboration with the Hispanic Heritage Foundation and the Latin Explorers 2 Minecraft world, which brings prominent Latina explorers, innovators, and pioneers into Minecraft's blocky world and expands a positive view of Latinos around the world. Not once in my life have I said... I need to experience a different view of Latinos. Let me boot up Minecraft. <laughs> they started a space Mexican Minecraft server. I just, what? Like, you can have, like, the space Minecraft server, but I don't understand why they're lauding it as some, like, crazy groundbreaking thing. That sounds like a bad green text. Dr. Ellen Ochoa, one of the esteemed characters in Latin Explorers 2, <laughs> help, shared her epic experiences of being the first Latina astronaut to go to space on the panel as well. Have we even been sending people to space recently? Hold on a second. Hold on, what is what is this woman's name? Dr. Ellen Ochoa. Space travel. NASA astronaut Dr. Ellen Ochoa, American engineer, former astronaut, and former director of the Johnson Space Center in 1993. Ochoa became the first Hispanic woman to go into space when she served on a nine-day mission aboard the space shuttle Discovery. Oh, she was a Discovery lady. Okay. All right. But also, I'm going I'm to be real. I'm going to be real. Looking at, looking at her image, she looks about as Hispanic as that one Massachusetts lady looks Native American. I don't trust NASA. A nine day mission, I am judging. Star Phoenix, thank you for the $2. Space Mexico cartels must be rough. I wanna, I wanna get in on that space cocaine smuggling. Why is she wearing a Chris Chan t-shirt? Oh God. She could be Hispanic. I don't know about Latina. This is not the image that comes to mind when I think of a Latina woman. <laughs> is the Latino in the room with us right now? Like 50% of Hispanics are white. 
You've been tricked! You hate to break it to Americans, but most Hispanics are in fact white. They're not all Mexicans. Well, I mean, she could be Spain, right? She could be- she could be Spain. 5% Hispanic? What the fuck? Her teeth remind you of AOC? I mean, Discovery was an actual shuttle, so I mean, she, I definitely believe that. She's playing a flute in space? Kind of impressive. Kind of impressive. Personally, as a Hispanic, I find this kind of crap demeaning and pandering. <laughs> I mean, the DEI people, not the Hispanics specifically. <laughs> One, the 164th Hispanic. I lost my fucking article. Where am I? Other speakers discussed the inspirational experience of working in space, opportunities available to young Latinos to advance understanding of space, and the importance of an inclusive and representative workforce. I feel like space is very important. Uh, space space is an important thing and I would like to I would like to explore the the space frontier as it were. But I feel like if you're trying to shoehorn diversity, equity and inclusion into space travel uh that might not be such a good idea. <laughs> In just a few words. Community leaders shared personal anecdotes that underscored the value of community-based problem-solving, pledging to continue collaborating with the Biden-Harris administration on the shared objective of expanding Latino access and representation within the realms of space, STEM, and beyond. I was like, if there's, if there's a little Latino kid that wants to go to school and wants to become an astronaut, he should be able to. But I, I don't understand the, like, ensuring that there's representation kind of thing. Uh, at least there's no bridges in space. True. True and real. True and real. I just like this this is this is from Minecraft, dude. <laughs> this is from Minecraft. Programs like the above are why diversity and inclusion within their work culture have become an ethos for this majority women-led team. Because without